kind of sad news for me. I mean, I would go to Sports Authority just about every weekend with, with my dad. And it was part of the growing up with my it, kids. It, yes. Exactly. I, I mean, if you were into sports, that's where you would go. I so. Know. Oh, well. Other options. Uh, well, that's true. And something else will open up, mm -hmm. as you know. Well, we are looking at a beautiful day once again today. If you were anywhere near Lido, as Dale Kimberling was, he took a shot of these beautiful skimmers. You can see them. They're all lined up facing into the wind. Isn't that just marvelous? They're all looking in the same direction, which is so much fun. You can see just a few clouds off in the distance, but it was a beautiful day. If you looked westward out into the Gulf of Mexico, it was absolutely gorgeous. Just this is what it looked like on Lido Beach today. And today, we did get up to a high of 89 degrees. Not a record breaker, but we did get up to 89. 69 degrees was the overnight low last night. And right now, it's 84 at the airport. Humidity at 56%. It's beautiful out there with those winds coming in out of the west at around 9 miles per hour. We do have some 90s on the map right now. Mostly, though, it's 80s across the state. And you can see across our area, we're even seeing some 70s to our north. But Mostly, we've got temperatures in the upper 80s, well east of I-75, and right along the beaches, we have temperatures in the low 80s. And we're looking at the across the southeastern part of the country. They've had copious amounts of rain right around the New Orleans area. Over seven inches so far has fallen. And across the southeast, we're looking at the showers as well. But nothing is happening here, and we could use the rain. It is coming. It's just going to take a couple more days to get here. Across the nation, we have high pressure, and that high pressure system is developing and providing beautiful weather from Omaha all the way up through Minneapolis and over to Toronto. We're seeing some beautiful sky conditions and across the southeastern part of the country all the way up the eastern seaboard we're seeing the rain and that's all falling right along that frontal band that is eventually going to make its way here on Wednesday and by then we'll see some opportunity for rain, real rain coming on in. In the meantime, not a whole much, uh, bunch is going on. We're not going to see any showers developing tonight or tomorrow, but it's going to be Wednesday that we'll see our best chance of rain. So two more warm days in the forecast, temperatures well above normal, storms likely on Wednesday, and then we've got milder temperatures taking place after Wednesday when that cold front comes through. So if you're heading out to the beaches tomorrow, Winds will be out of the southeast. They'll shift around coming in out of the southwest at around 10 knots, two to three foot seas and a light chop out on the bay and inland waters. And the Gulf water temperature is 82 degrees while the air temperature tomorrow will be 83. We get down to 69 degrees tonight and tomorrow it's going to be absolutely beautiful once again. Plenty of sunshine around temperatures in the mid to upper 80s and then we're going to be looking at the rain coming in with that cold front cooling us off, cooling us down to 77 and bringing us that much needed rain on Wednesday. Max?